Hey guys, it's me Carly and today I'm wearing these really oversized pants because today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to make these fit me and hopefully look good too. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm a fashion designer and I make clothing tutorials, upcycling videos and studio vlogs where I show you guys what goes on behind the scenes at my fashion brand, Carly Rose The Label. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I upload because I don't have a regular uploading date at the moment. I'm gonna try and start uploading at least twice a month. And in saying that, I'm really sorry that this video has taken so long to upload. I know that in my last video I said I was going to try and upload the first of this refashion series the same week that I did the other one, and I think it's been about three or four weeks. But with that being said, let's get on with the video. I would point, but if I let go of these pants, they will fall down. Okay, so as you can see, these pants are way too big for me. There is what you could call a lot of room for improvement. So I think the first thing I need to do is figure out how much smaller I need to make them and then make a few adjustments just so they're a little bit more trendy. So I've taken my own waist measurement and I'm actually going to take off the whole waistband of these pants because I don't like how there's elastic at the back and I want to change that. I also don't like how it's done up at the side with a button and I think I'm going to replace that with a zip at the center back. So I'm just going to separate these pants at the center front and center back so that I can pull the two legs apart and that way when I do an adjustment to one side I can easily lay one leg on top of the other and cut them both at the same time and make sure they're both the same. So now I've got my two pant legs and I'm just going to take one side of those pant legs and use that to mark out my new measurements of where I'm going to be cutting. So first of all, I'm just pinning the top so it's flat and so that I've got the side seam right at the edge and I can measure out how wide I want each pant leg. So each front and back piece, the top is going to be a quarter of my waist measurement. And I'm just marking out where my new pocket is going to be as well because I have to move that over. I'm just going to trim that part of the pocket there, so just through that top layer. And then once I've cut this part away, I can cut away the excess of the side seam for the front and the back. So I'm just unpicking the hem of the leg because I forgot I kind of need to do that before I cut anything off the side seam. And now I'm just measuring out the width that I want the leg and then also adding on one centimeter seam allowance with my grading ruler. And I've got both legs pinned together now so I'm just going to cut along my seam allowance cut line. And just as I get up to the top here I've just pinned out of the way that pocket edge so that I don't cut through it. Now I'm ready to start sewing. So the first thing I'm going to sew is the pocket edge. That's the bit of fabric that's going to be on top of your hand when you put your hand in your pocket. And after I sew that seam, I'm just going to go in and do a pin stitch. And that's where you stitch about a millimeter or two away from the original seam, just to keep it nice and flat and you know looking really great once you've pressed it. And here I am just stitching down where the edge of the pocket meets the, the pants because there's going to be about two centimeters between the side seam and the edge of the pocket at the top there. And now that I've done that, I can stitch down the side seam of these pants.
All right, so I've done both side seams now. Now I'm just reshaping the inseam of the leg. So I'm taking off about the same that I did on the other side of the leg, about two or three centimeters. And I'm just cutting that off both sides again. I've pinned both sides together again, just to make it easier. Now here, I'm just using one of my pattern pieces that I already have. If you were gonna do this, you could just use a pair of pants that fit you really well. I just use them to reshape the crotch because these are men's pants and men's pants have different crotch to women's pants. Sorry, I hate the word crotch, but that's what it's called. <laughs> so I reshaped the front with the pattern, but I'm actually gonna reshape the back with my French curve. By the way, I'm gonna put a link to both my French curve and my grading ruler where you can buy them on Amazon in the description because these two rules come in so handy when you're altering clothes or when you're making your own patterns. So I've just left a little bit of extra seam allowance at the top there because that's where I'm going to be putting an invisible zip later and I'm just stitching back up that crotch. And now I'm going to take this waistband which I unpicked from the top and I'm going to fix it up into the kind of waistband that I want to use for these pants. Now it wasn't fused because it had elastic inside, so I'm just gonna fuse it before I cut it into the pieces that I need. I've gone ahead and pressed it already. That's why it's all nice and flat now. And that's my piece of fusing. I'm just gonna use an iron to put that on there. And I'm just re-measuring the top of my pants now that I've stitched them all back up and making sure that it's still the right width that I needed for my waist measurement. And I've got these two pieces here and I'm going to be cutting one long width and two half widths because I need one that's half my waist measurement for the front and two that are a quarter of my waist measurement for the back with extra seam allowance on each piece. Now this is just an extra thing that I decided to do. I wanted to add some belt loops and I had excess fabric from what I cut off the side seams. So I'm just using that. Um, it already had a seam down one side and I'm just folding the rest of the fabric over over that seam allowance and just running it through my machine with a pin stitch on both sides. There's the second side there and I'm just making one long piece like this. I didn't even have to trim it. It was just exactly what I cut off the side of the pants. I was able to turn into these little belt loops. So I initially cut out five, but then I remembered because I have a, a zipper at the center back, I can't really put a belt loop over that. So I'm just gonna have four and I'm stitching them onto the waistband before I attach it to the pants so that the ends of the belt loops get hidden inside that waistband and it's nice and neat. Now I'm just pinning the waistband onto the pants and I'm using my side seams to line up with the, with the seams on the waistband. Now I haven't sewn up all the way at the back of the pants obviously because I'm adding that zipper to it. So there's the zipper and I'm just going to be stitching that in place before I use my zipper foot to properly stitch down the sides of the zipper. Invisible zippers are pretty easy to put in as long as you stitch them in place first and just check that the zipper still lines up and that you don't have a little bubble at the end of the zip where the seams match up. Just make sure it's all aligned. I did have to unpick this on one side and reattach it. And now I've just folded over the waistband at the top and I'll just stitch that down right next to the zip there so that I can turn it inside out and I'll have the edge of my waistband. And now that I've turned it back inside out, the zipper just peeks out the side there. And now to attach the waistband down, I'm just going to be ditch stitching, which is where you stitch right in that seam that's already there. So you can barely see it. All the way around the waistband, over the top of the uh, belt loops. And then I'm just also adding in a pin stitch at the top for detail and now just folding over those belt loops and I'll stitch those down as well. 
because I've made these pants high-waisted, I love having belts on high-waisted pants, so I just thought this would be a fun detail to add. And I had excess fabric, so it was a good way to use some of it up. Now I'm just going to re-hem the pants. I'm going to give them a really wide hem so that I can turn the cuff back to the outside and it will be the outer of the fabric showing, not that shiny inside that you can see there. And then we're just about done. That's the finished cuff and I'll just press that. I also did go ahead and overlock all the side seams and everything off camera. So it's all nice and neat inside. It's going to wash really well. So to sum up, I unpicked the waistband, took in the side seams and pockets, separated the legs, took in the inner leg and reshaped the crotch, attached the legs at the center, made the new waistband, got rid of the elastic and fitted it to my body and added belt loops, replaced the side button with a center back zipper and rehemmed to my height with a cuff. And here's the result. <laughs> final result of this refashioned episode. I'm really happy with how these pants turned out. They fit me perfectly now. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get them to fit me properly, but I think they turned out really well. So I'm super happy. If you like this video, there's a button for that. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm looking forward to putting out loads more of these kinds of videos soon. That's all for today's episode though. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.